Hi, Sarah. Hi, Hello, how Badge. You? How are you, mates? You all right? You're a very happy boy today. Goodness me. I can see why you've come in. Yeah, it's, it's not slowing down. It is not. It's quite monstrous at the moment, isn't it, mate? All right, all right, Yes. All right, all right, oh, is that right. a bit tender? Come oh, here. Bless you. Come on, let's keep this, let's keep the happy, happy boy, <laughs> hey? The waggy tail's what we want. Come on then, Badge, you're gonna come this way? Come to the console come room? On. Come Good on. Boy. Good boy. Well done. Good lad, didn't you come? There we go. Well done. So, it's been a few weeks since we've seen each other and unfortunately that has grown, hasn't it? Yeah, it's definitely, um, it's not slowing down. No. And how's he being affected by it, do you think? Well, I think slowing down, <laughs> he's, um, you know, he's not as inclined to sort of go for a walk as much as he was. You can tell it's just really cumbersome and it's awkward. He's finding it hard to find a comfortable spot to sit down. This is a massive tumour that's really pulling his weight off to one side, which will be affecting his balance, will be causing an increase in arthritic development in the back legs. There's a lot of negatives to this thing, besides the fact that it's stretching the muscles that it surrounds and causing him discomfort. He still wags his tail whenever anyone goes near him. He still wants to go for a walk, albeit a short one. So I feel like we're doing him an injustice if we just leave it. OK, well, but let's... It's it's a very hard decision, really. It, it is, it is, and we flip-flop about it constantly whenever we see each other, don't we? This is not the first time that we've considered removing Badger's tumour. It's a slow-growing sarcoma, which is a malignant type of tumour, but it's one that doesn't tend to spread. It just continues to regrow in the same site. Now, unfortunately, the size of this tumour and where it is means that we can't ever remove it completely, so unfortunately it keeps growing back, and this is now the third time that's happened. So I think what we might have to do is just pop a muzzle on him. All right, champ, it's Hannibal Lecter time. Yeah, come here, bud. Come on. He's a gentleman until he's challenged, and then yeah. he turns into a bit of a, a bit of a beast. Yes. <laughs> don't you, mate? Hey, no, you just know your own mind, don't you? Yes. Okay, you ready, Sarah? I'm gonna pop him up. Me to lift, or you? No, we'll go. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Wow. This tumour is absolutely huge. So to see it coming out from his chest, it's almost like he's got an udder, isn't it? Like, it's just... It's like a, a cricket ball, isn't yeah. it? And, and it's sort of that hard as well. Yeah, it's huge. There's positives and negatives. Yeah. But I think the thing is, is that he is a lovely, otherwise healthy family dog. Yeah. Except for this. So if I can rid him of this one last time and give him the, you know, old age, genteel life in Richmond that he deserves, well, I think he deserves it. Yeah. Yeah. The worst thing would be for him to not come through surgery. I think, I, you know, we haven't got a choice now. He's just, you know, he's in too much discomfort. I think we've got to do it. So, um, yeah, I am worried. Cheerio, Boise. Be good. Come through it. OK. All right. All right thank okay, you. Love to you and the family. See you later. All right, bye. See ya. Bye. Okay. Say bye, Mummy. Say bye. <laughs> oh, I know. You've got to be such a brave boy. Yes, you do. Badger is our 12 and a half year old Irish Wheaton Terrier that we've had since he was about six months old. And he's been the best dog we could have ever wished for. There isn't a day that goes by that I don't find him dressed as a witch or a fairy or a, you know, he's just been an amazing part of the family. But Badgie's been battling a massive low-level malignant tumour. Sore, isn't it? And despite two major surgeries, it keeps growing back. So we're sort of worried that if it isn't addressed, it's going to split the skin because it really is stretched. And it's like, sort of, it goes all the way underneath, sort of almost like a sort of tennis ball size and then this bit at the underneath. So it's, it's pretty grotesque. We sort of promised ourselves that we wouldn't operate again. Scott's done both operations previously and um, we kind of drew a line under it and went, right, that's, we're done. We're not going to do that again but it's sort of got bigger and bigger and, you know, he's relatively happy in every other way and we're now kind of like back in the situation of, what do we do? Badge, do you want to go for a walk, Keith? Yeah. Oh, come on, Bella. Oh. Hey, hey. you're right. Hey, yes, yeah, so, Badge is back, Nath. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he says with a worried look in his eye. <laughs> he's a really sweet dog, but just not the best patient. Agreed, hence the muzzle. 
Reagan, I don't know if you've met Badger. No, I have not. That is crazy. Yeah, it's not his most attractive feature. He's a champ. No. Unfortunately, I'd love to say that this is the first time we've removed it, but it's actually our third. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh, a slow-growing sarcoma. It doesn't actually spread anywhere else in his body, but just continues to want to live on this side of his chest. And you can just think how taut. It's so tight, you can feel it. Yeah. And so it's stretching all those muscles, and that's what's so uncomfortable. That's why you're panting all the time, aren't you, mate? Because you're just a little bit low-level uncomfortable all the time. Oh. So this time, third time lucky. Look how vascular it is as well. With Badger's fur shaved off, the huge scar from his two previous surgeries is clearly visible. Right, here we go. It's the line Scott is using to go in for a third time. It has some semblance of being fatty, but it's granular. It just doesn't have any structure. I mean, once you get your finger, look, I mean, it just, it's just soft. Going in to remove this tumour, it is just hideous. It's just everything that you think would personify cancer. It has no structure to it. It pulls out like kind of wet porridge. There's a lot of blood supply to it as well. It's just huge and it's just horrible. The nasty tumour is especially confronting for Scott's new nurse, Reagan. No, I didn't expect it to be... Well, I don't really know what I was expecting, but not... Not this. Not this. No. No, no not quite. Yeah. 20 minutes into the surgery, Scott is becoming increasingly concerned. Badger's actually losing quite a bit of blood removing this because it's just so vascular. It's uh, within all the muscle layers of the chest and we can't control it because the blood vessels are, that there's no rhyme or reason to them. They're not growing in the normal way. So I'm just doing my best to be, to remove as much of the tissue as quick as possible. But it's uh, a little bit nerve wracking at the moment. After 25 minutes, Scott has removed as much of the tumour as he can safely manage. I'm just going to, I'm going to pull out, close it up. It's just, I've got as much out as I can. But suddenly... Have you got a heartbeat? Badger's condition starts to deteriorate. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, I have got, got one. It's not very strong. Yeah, I just need to keep a very close eye on that. OK, just have a listen that he's definitely, definitely got a pulse still. Greg, put your hand underneath and feel the femoral pulse. I'm not sure if I'm feeling... Can you get, just get James for us? Yeah, yeah just, just, just go, go yeah. run into contact with us, James. Badger's tumour removal surgery has now turned into an emergency, with Badger's condition rapidly deteriorating. Can you just put your arm up there and just, just have a feel for a pulse? Scott has called in vet James to assist. You can't feel the pulse? All hands on deck. I still am in a situation where I'm sterile, trying to complete the surgery because we can't stop the anaesthetic until I've closed this massive wound. So it does mean that I am hogtied. I can't use my hands, so I need my colleague James to come in and help with the CPR. He's taking a breath. That's a breath in. Yeah. yeah. All right, the breathing is the really important thing, so just keep on breathing for him. Don't stop. I put him on two and just see how it goes. Yep. Have you got a heartbeat? Can you hear? I can, uh, yeah, I have got, got one. It's not very strong. Is that him then? Let's yeah. throw some adrenaline at him. Same dose. Precious minutes are ticking by. But now, Badger is not responding. Can you feel anything? I can't hear anything. No adrenaline now? Yeah. Anything? Badger has now been unresponsive for over six minutes. And Scott is forced to make an agonizing decision. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna call it, guys. Okay, well, good 
Good work, everyone. Okay. It's one of those things. Yeah, yeah, it's the surgery store. Yeah, you can't really. Can't leave it the way it was. No. I think the looks on everyone's faces, I think, says it all. Everyone's completely gutted, and especially Scott. Okay. <laughs> Scott now has to make a heartbreaking phone call. Hello. Oh, hi, Sarah. Hi, um, Scott here. Hi, Scott. Hiya. Um, yeah, I haven't got good news for you, I'm afraid, Sarah. Yeah, he's, he passed away on the table, I'm afraid. Oh, my God. Oh, what happened? Tell me. I got probably two-thirds of the tumour out um, and uh, was just sort of cleaning up the edges before closing. He stopped breathing. And this time, I couldn't get him back. Oh, Lord. I just was so sure he was going to come through the surgery. So, so, did, so did I. That's why I just, I'm like, I'm so sorry, Sarah. Yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> she's devastated, as you would imagine. Um, straight away, as a parent, she's thinking about the kids and thinking about the fact that she decided not to tell them before the surgery, thinking that they would worry. And so now, obviously, they're going to be so heartbroken that they didn't get a chance to say goodbye, which is just, you know, thinking about my kids and thinking about that happening to my dog, it would be very hard. So it's a, it's a bad, bad day. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.